switching back to kind of just the, the uh, UI UX focus. Um, so, you know, people are working on, on things, experimenting and building new things. Um, our next presenter is somebody who has a, uh, can bring the voice of experience. Uh, somebody that's been working on um, uh, UI UX for quite a while, I believe even going back to maybe the, the early days of Ethereum. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Rick, but I, I believe uh, also Curve. Curve is one of my favorite UI UX in, in the space. I, I just love the retro vibes and it's uh, it's so much no, fun to use. That, that's all, Michael. I, I can't claim it. Uh, okay, cool. That, uh, uh, but I think uh, I think we, we came up with the names together, so that was fun. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, no, no, no. He, he, he was the one who led the, led the charge on that. I believe it's actually a default CSS library from someone who just wanted to make the windows feel again. So uh, it was kind of a fun choice for sure. Gotcha. Well, yeah, there's a lot of really interesting uh, different approaches to, to design in, in DeFi and in, across dApps in general. So um, Rick's in a great uh, place to give, give some insight on, on that and uh, kind of tell you where his head, head's at right now. So yeah, thanks for joining us, Rick. Great. And um, I was just wondering, just briefly before I start, I'd love to just see these comments that come on Twitch so that I can respond to any questions or comments or things like that. Um, and, and that would be really helpful. So yeah, let me just, should we switch over to my screen? And then I'm just basically just going to run you through, here we go, down the vortex. I'm basically just going to run you through um, like a big project that I've been working on recently. And just like all the thinking and interactions and like the messy kind of back and forth of the design process. Uh, and then perhaps share a little bit more about, um, you know, uh, uh, what, what some of the interactions are now um, like uh, with, with the community as we begin to make this project kind of more widely available. Um, so the protocol that I'm currently focused on helping out is known as FEI protocol <clears throat> or FEI. And it's a major contribution to the stablecoin space and ideally uh, to the DeFi space in general. Um, and, and the way in which FEI works is that it's, it's, it's trying to uh, uh, bring about a kind of under collateralized stable coin or, or a, a stable coin that can maintain its peg without needing, you know, it to be massively over collateralized. Um, so obviously there's been a lot of um, hype and different stuff in the stable coin space. We've seen, you know, tons of different projects come out that, that, that have, you know, different takes. Um, and and Faye really is a bunch of different mechanisms that I'm going to try and like uh, add design to over time. And, and I'm really just like probably like a month into this process. So the, the 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 design process began with like talking about um, how the the protocol itself is going to raise capital. So uh, the company that's building Fay has raised kind of private money, um, <clears throat> but the protocol itself needs capital to exist. In the same way, kind of Maker uses capital to produce Dai, Fay needs capital to produce Fay, the the stablecoin. And so this was a kind of prototype that, that Joey and Seb um, threw together for like how these things could work. And 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 what I want to kind of emphasize here is that the design process began like very broad. Like we've got to cover not only branding, but, you know, capital loading, um, managing different systems. Uh, we've got to do, kind of do the naming, the timing, um, explain different things. And we, we started with some really rough prototypes of how we're going to explain the bonding curve and all these things. Um, and, and, and really the whole process was like a back and forth um, of whiteboards, quick Figma prototypes, Lots of comments. Um, you're looking at how other people have addressed these things. You know, I think Gnosis have done some great work there, um, and, and drawing inspiration from some of the like previous UI work we did at Balance, um, and 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 really thinking carefully about like how all these um, things should work and how how things can look. Um, so yeah, so you can see here that really I'm just trying everything, like, like just just trying a bunch of stuff for Genesis. But this was like the initial engagement with the with the Fay lads. And then further over in the document, and I, I don't really segregate too much early on, I'm thinking about this theme, okay? So Fay is actually uh, referring to something called a Yap Stone. There's also the Rye Stone community. Um, and so we're kind of drawing on similar themes, looking into you know what it meant to have a Yap Stone, uh, what it meant to record data. Uh, and, and over here, you can see all my sketches and early ideas and brain dumps of like, what, 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 how does this protocol work? How does it manage liquidity? How does the system function? And I was starting to think about combining some kind of like electrical theme with the kind of stone-based simple system, because I think that's, you know, kind of interesting that we're, we're, we're kind of combining these new accounting systems together where we're, we're, we're moving forward from systems where humans would account for things 
And we're starting to kind of build this infrastructure that's like computer controlled accounting. Um, and and that, that was like, yeah, just where my head was at and, and still is at is I'm thinking about ways we can kind of make the protocol look like an embedded chip system or something like that. And and, and, and all this theming is, is, um, is interesting and something I really want to hit on more. Um, and so next I'm going to move uh, into, you know, what I think is really important is thinking through icon work. And this has really been a collaborative process, both with the team at Faye um, and, and, um, uh, and, and, and a bunch of community members who've chipped in ideas. Um, and so at its most like basic level, let's start with the kind of obvious Faye stone themed hole um, <clears throat> uh, uh, in, a, in a circle. Uh, and then looking at different kind of block styles or hexagons or, or kind of appealing to those those different um, those different themes. And really, it was just like tons of variation and sketching. And um, and, and then, you know, broad, more broadly, we realized that uh, obviously there's got to be two token designs here. This is a two token model. There's the Fay USD, which is the stable coin. And then there's Tribe, which is the governance token that will be managing the system. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, when I look at, crypto icons, a lot of them kind of abuse um, quite a few basic principles of design. Um, so nearly all of these icons that you see here would look really hard. As you zoom out, it's really hard to recognize them. There's a few that work, but what you're always wanting to optimize for is like the lowest fidelity option, right? Because imagine, you know, the Fay USD on a um, Android phone with the, with the kind of smallest resolution, the smallest screen, could they make out what Fay USD is in this kind of sea of different tokens? Uh, and, you know, there are some people who've done a good job like TKN and, and a couple of others, but in general, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with the like current state of the art of token iconography. And I'm not saying we've got anything better necessarily yet, but I just wanna point out some of the problems. Like you look at something like Kin, right? That's an incredibly intricate design. I just will not render on like 16 pixel icons. Uh, it'll just end up being a blur. Um, IOTA, obviously a bit of a disaster protocol, disaster token as well. Um, but yeah, you can basically just see, and like, like generally you're looking to see, all right, is this visible when it's zoomed out? And would this work on a low resolution screen? And, and, and I think a lot of tokens fail that test. And that's why they're kind of, they're not driving themselves into the consciousness. I think Ethereum has a very recognizable branding. It scales up, it scales down, works really well. Um, but there are many, many other tokens that kind of don't meet that test. And, and, and I just get almost token blindness a little bit and would struggle to pick them um, out, of a, out of a kind of lineup of other tokens. Um, and so, yeah, actually on New Year's Eve, I was with Joey and Seb and we were just chatting about ideas and vibing you know, together and like, uh, really talking through what we want to kind of communicate. And there's this kind of tribal element to, to the whole project that we're calling it the tribe, the people who help out uh, are members of the tribe, the people who are investing are members of the tribe, the community who are coming in are all part of that tribe. And, and one kind of idea that I touched on was um, this idea of like Stonehenge or, or, or like these kind of tribal stones and the way in which they're uh, set up. And, and, and that's how our kind of early prototypes for tribe token and and the kind of face stone ended up looking and, and we were starting to get towards something here but we weren't super happy with it we're like this is cool but we haven't like probably cracked it another thing that's so important i think uh in design and, and thinking branding for different projects is finding like the emoji that really captures the project it seems like emoji based projects or ones that have like an emoji like ave's ghost or others just capture the memes and like capture the livelihood of the of the community in a really interesting way so we very early on, we started debating, you know, what would it what would it mean to have a have a have a an emoji that represented both tribe and, and Fay USD. Um, and yeah, so here we go, some more different prototypes, experimenting with color. And this is the most important thing: is seeing what it looks like at multiple sizes, and like, does the spacing work both when it's large, or does it work when it's small? And, and really diving into those those variations, and then. When uh, Joey and I were doing a trip together, uh, I touched on this idea of, you know, Fay USD um, could be represented by the pyramid that is on many different dollar den denominated um, notes. Uh, this is, and then we went down the rabbit hole on, you know, what is what is that pyramid? What what is that kind of uh, eye? Um, and 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 I went really into like um, the, the the I believe it's 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 related to the eye of providence, or, or and, and there's all kinds of um, uh, you know other elements to that and like uh, symbolism built into this idea that there's this kind of all-seeing eye 
and that it's part of the like the US's um, kind of strength and and, and control and, and things like that. Um, so, so yes, we, we built off that theme, and we thought actually this this actually does capture the stable coin quite well, um, and, and went through a ton of variations uh, on those, and and um, eventually got to this place where we thought we were happy with it. Like we thought, okay, we're getting close towards you know a, a kind of cohesive token branding strategy we're happy with. It's fun to kind of place it among um, you know other things, and and, and then several members of the community came in and offered some really great input. So there was Lol DeFi and Boku. Uh, so initially Lol DeFi was thinking more of a kind of um, abstract T here with, with, with different setups. And we went through a bunch of variations together um, and, and, and like ended up looking at how those spacings looked and, and, and how they could work. Um, and and th this process, again, just a massive amount of back and forth. And it, and it was so fun to like involve community members in that. And you can see here some of LolDefi's other great ideas. Um, but really what we're getting towards now, uh, and this is commit, this is an idea from Boku, is, is this notion of a kind of negative T. So we're actually going back to that Stonehenge theme, and we're using the space created between the rocks and uh, as a kind of negative implied T. And so this is where we're getting to currently. It's by no means finalized, but I just thought I'd show some of the, the live work here um, as things progress. Cool. So again, let's switch out of branding and we'll go back over to what's really important, which is how the protocol will accrue capital. And this has been a long process of, of different design work. I was showing you some of it earlier, but, um, but what it's got towards uh, is, is a kind of pretty uh, kind of basic system where we are trying to just kind of communicate uh, the variables involved as Fay raises capital and how it can have an influence. So we're trying to make it clear that people can, you know, deposit capital and that, that like different amounts of capital will have an impact and the price of Ether will have an impact on how much of the eventual tokens you end up getting. Um, and then we're going through uh, kind of uh, different states. So thinking through, um, you know, what are your deposits? How much have you raised? Um, what, what are you able to do uh, with your deposits? And, 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 and whether you'd like to commit more capital to the system. And so, yeah, the feedback we've had from that, it was, it was fairly complicated and it was a lot to process. And we're now working on a simpler version and a more advanced version. I think for people who are throwing in 5 ETH, uh, you know, they just generally, they're gonna hear the project and do that. For people who wanna put in a lot more money, they're gonna do, you know, much more, much more uh, than that. Um, and, uh, and, and they might want to, you know, use the more advanced systems. So that, that gives you an idea of just like some of the progress we've gone through of just thinking about how the capital uh, can be allocated to the protocol itself. Um, and let's let's go back into, uh, you know, the, the, again, the homepage is still very basic, um, but but I wanted to kind of capture the idea of Faye as a, as a, a kind of new way of driving um, stability. Uh, I think that the most interesting part of the mechanism is that when Faye is kind of above the peg, it has one set of mechanisms to bring it back down. And when Faye trades below the peg, it has a whole separate piece of machinery to, 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 to bring it back and get up. Um, and, and these pieces of machinery are not actually like human controlled, they're computer controlled. And so we really are trying to, um, you know, try and make this thing as clear as possible and, 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 and uh, trying to make this, trying to share what is going on under, with all the code. And, and, and in the end, I settled on this kind of wave theme um, this idea that um, uh, you could uh, uh, like make sure that everything is like clearer and the waves are clearer and and you know just 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 kind of elucidate that there's this constant flux around a stable coins peg and that Faye wants to to kind of hug that and so went through a bunch of themes a um, bunch of different text and copy and trying to explain where it's going and ended up getting towards this kind of dark theme, which we're pretty happy with for now. Uh, but again, you can probably see there's like five or six different fronts that I'm trying to push the design forward on. And, and, it, and it is by no means uh, where we want it to be, but it's just trying to get to a V0 for everything so that people can use it. Um, at this stage, I just want to quickly come back to see uh, the, the Twitch stream. I, I don't know how I can see the questions right now. So is there any way you can just show me the questions on here or should I go to the Twitch stream live? I think on the right side, you should be able to open the comments button. And whoop, looks like we lost them. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we unfortunately we lost him, uh, but he should be able to load. He'll be loading the page probably right back. Yeah, a couple questions here. Uh, how can the community get involved? Um, that's a wonderful question. Here we I go. think I, I can't speak to what uh, other. Oh, he's back. Sorry about that, everybody. Eric, no worries. All right. Sorry, I just wanted to see the comments just to just to kind of make this a little bit more interactive. Um, how can the community get involved? Um, sorry, and, and the comments are they they're, they're showing up uh, in the comments section on the right? Okay, great. Uh, how can the community get involved? So, am, am I seeing everything live? I just want to make sure I'm yes. like not. Yeah. Um, great, great, great. Yeah. So the community can get involved by going to the design channel, which is on the Discord, and you can check out that. Um, the, the link to that will be on twittercom slash Protocol. Um, cool. All right. Well, uh, if that's the only question so far, then I'll, I'll happily just like carry on for um, another another kind of five to ten minutes, just showing you an overview of, of like all the things we're thinking about and some of the interactions that we've had from the community. So um, one quick note, Rick, um, you've got yeah. one minute left. Um, oh, okay, I, amazing. And some miscommunication, so you just have one. No, no, no worries. No, no, no absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I will do one last minute, just rounding up like where we're at. And this has been great. It's just fun to go through a file and hopefully people see a different perspective on like what this stuff looks like and the kind of multiple fronts that we're thinking through. And um, yeah, I'll just quickly maybe uh, just show um, one thing I've been you know, quite quite excited to do is 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 think through a, a, a trading UI um, again. I've done that kind of ten or fifteen times, but it's fun to just approach that again um, uh, because there are some interesting incentives that come with uh, with Fay. Um, and so we've just been uh, thinking through how to communicate the, the kind of bonus or the the penalties, the burns that can occur as you, as you trade um, Fay for ETH. Um, that's part of the mechanism. So there we go. I think that's been a pretty uh, rip roaring uh, uh, go through of like a project that's still live in development. Um, and 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 really, none of this is where we want it to be. It's all about just getting everything lined up to a V zero, so everything can kind of move forward and be launched. But then we're really hoping to refine this and make this great. And ideally, I'm looking for a designer who's, you know, just young, hungry, fired up and wants to just take this like base level that I've started with and really run with it and make it their own. Um, and so that that's really uh, kind of what I wanted to share is like, this is what goes on in my brain. This is how I work with people in general with founders. I just try and send them a Figma file full of ideas and then we can get things flowing. I'm not just trying to tell them what to do. I'm like, let's just see what you think about these pixels. Um, so yeah, it's been super fun just, just kind of giving an overview of it. And it's been really fun working on Faye Protocol so far. And if anybody else wants to pop in, add their comments, you know, give feedback, then the, the Discord is popping off and we've had some really good back and forth in there in the design channel. So yeah, thanks so much for everyone's time and really appreciate this opportunity to speak. Hey, thanks, Rick. And uh, if anybody wants to keep tabs on, on what you're thinking, kind of your insights, it looks like you have some some great thoughts on your Twitter feed. Do you have a, a blog or anything? Uh, yeah, all my stuff's, um, you just start with my Twitter and it's all there, all the links to everything. So yeah, great, um, good right. to have you all. Hey, thanks again. Cheers, everyone.